I want to bring in really quickly. Uh, come on over here, uh, Mr. Albert Roy, President, the CEO of the uh, Lupus Research Alliance, puts on this event. First of all. Oh my goodness, what a day. And, and I know so much goes into this for you. I mean, how, tell, tell me, just how long have you been involved in this work and why is it so important that, that this walk happens every year? Well, you know, I've been with the organization now since 2017 in various roles. Been the president's CEO uh, over the last two years. And so the planning of our walk is actually a year long event and it culminates today. And I really have to give thanks to the team who runs our New York City Walk. We have walks all over the country. We really try to accomplish two things. One, more awareness about lupus and the need for lupus research, but also to raise critical funds for lupus. And you know, the LRA is the world's largest private funder for lupus research. We're proud of that distinction. We don't take it lightly, and we invest in the best research in the world to hopefully have better diagnostics and better treatments for people living with lupus. And since this organization has been around, I mean, the research has come a long way. I mean, can you speak to a little bit of that and like, you know, any optimism that I know the goal is a cure, right? Well, absolutely. I mean, the goal ultimately is to prevent the disease. Yeah. But in the meantime, we got to invest in research that brings more curative treatments to people living with the disease. So 2010, there were no approved drugs for lupus. 2011 was the first drug approved for lupus. There's been a period of 10 years between 2011 and 2021. We had two new drugs approved for lupus and lupus nephritis then, and we're hopeful, given some recent results that were just announced, that we'll have two more therapies approved for lupus in the next year or two. So that would be five. Still a long ways to go because, you know, lupus is so individualized. It's not a homogeneous disease. Everybody's affected differently. And so we really think of therapies as tools in a tool chest, and we need to have an arsenal of those tools so we can identify what's the best therapy for that individual. And that's really what we're focused on is personalized care and precision medicine in lupus. And I know too because there's so much you know complications that, that happen from it. I just spoke with a lady who you know has lupus, but you know it's just coming back to this walk because she spent a few years being down with like kidney disease and some of these other things. Um, but incredible work you guys are doing. Thank you so much for taking a few moments. If folks want to be involved, maybe they're they're not in a community like this and they, they're struggling with the disease. How important is it that people find community? How can people get involved in, in helping to find a cure for lupus? Well, look, I mean, I think there's a lot of resources and information on our website, www.lupusresearch.org. I would go there. There's a number of prompts if you want to get involved locally, if there's something that we're doing, or even nationally. And we always have opportunities to get involved in our research. We have a large network of clinical trial sites that are doing research across all of North America. And there's a lot of information on what those set where those centers are. So that's how you get involved. Fantastic. Albert, thank you so much for your Tony, time. Thank you. Enjoy the day. Hey, beautiful day, Elena Doug. Lupusresearch.org again is where folks can find out more information, more live interviews coming up as we continue to enjoy a tremendous weekend. Guys, back to you. Such a worthy cause. Tony, thank you so much.